Do you want to simplify editing your pictures on your phone without spending too much money, time, and effort? This is what you do. Okay, so the first step is to actually take a good picture. You can't have a picture that is too dark or you can't have a picture that you want to edit that is too bright because the data inside the picture, it's kind of like destroyed. If it's too dark and if it's too bright. So you need to first of all, take a decent picture. Okay, the next thing you need to do is download the app Snapseed. You can download it straight to your phone. It's completely free. And this is the app that I use all the time whenever I want to edit a quick picture and post it on my social media. Once you're on the image, you could press tools, tune image, and then you could scroll up or down and it'll give you all the options of what to do to your picture. Uh, now contrast, if you want to move the contrast up and down, it's totally up to you. You can be as creative as you want. And then saturation, it's how much color you want in the picture. I don't want too much, too much exaggeration. So right about there. And then ambience, it's kind of like the surrounding. It, it kind of like makes your picture come alive a little bit. And then highlights, you could like play around with it. Like you could go all the way to the extreme and all the way down. And it just depends how you like it. Shadows, same thing, you can add and take away. Okay, and then the last thing is warmth. Um, since she is holding a chicken and it was a sunny day, I will put a little bit of a warm tone. And then you press the check mark on the bottom. Uh, we can have some lens blur. So if you go to her face and the chicken, which is the most important, you could decide how much blur you want. So not that much, maybe just like that. And if you press on it, it kind of like gives you a little preview and I think that's fine. And then what else we got here? Um, the vintage, let's go to vintage. So if you go up and down, it gives you options. I think like this will be more accurate to what we're trying to aim, which is the vintage -y look, healing. So like, let's say for example, um, let's see, let's see, what can we remove here? Uh, let's say for example, we don't want her with that necklace. We could just tap this and it will be well, let's go back a little bit. Let's try to get a little bit soon. So like, let's say we don't want her necklace. We could take off her necklace, but for today's sake, we're gonna leave the, the necklace. Let's see what else we could do. Um, you could also add text, but we're not gonna add text. Yeah, I think that's okay for now. I think that's good. So once you have your picture, all you gotta do is put export, save as a copy, and all the edits you, do, you did are now saved. And then you just go to your app where all the pictures are at and it's the newest picture right there. But there you go, you could be as creative as you want. This was just a, a simple sample of all the things that you could do inside this application. So that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell whenever there's a new video coming out. And if you want more photo and video tutorials, make sure to stay tuned for more.